We have seven acres in Central Texas that we took from raw land, converted a shed into a house, and then turned our roof into a rainwater harvesting beast. Here's how we did it. There's a lot we DIY around here, but installing the gutters was something we wanted the pros in on. These gutters play a major role in how we get free water to our garden and animals by helping us collect water from our gigantic metal roof during the rainy season. We'll break down all of the steps and we hope that you can put this same system to work at your homestead or even modify it to a smaller size to do it right there in the suburbs. Step one, get a really big rain tank and bring it to your property. So I just now have my first rain tank loaded up. I am so scared right now. Holy cow, I'm terrified. I was coming in and he's warning me. Oh! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Like that could hold enough for a city! Oh. I don't even have words right now. It's like a really pregnant whale. It looks <laughs> huge. It's like what sumo wrestlers drink out of. Then make a home for that rain tank. We chose two 2,500 gallon tanks, totaling 5,000 gallons of water storage. We built a very basic frame, squared it, and leveled the ground. Since these tanks are huge, it took a few truckloads of crushed base to fill up the form before we ever added the tank. This was tedious, but really necessary if you want the life of your tank to last. The base holds the weight of 5,000 gallons of water. Should I say that one more time? We've got 5,000 gallons of water in these guys, so we needed to do it right. Our friend and permaculture designer Pete from DroughtProofTexas.com came and helped us get the tanks into the right spot and put all the plumbing together. We needed to get the water from the roof to the tanks. This is four inch PVC pipe. Since ours are set behind the house, we needed a length of pipe that would reach. Take that into consideration when you're setting up your rainwater harvesting system. Measuring with the actual pipe ensures that you'll get a nice tight fit to eliminate any sunlight entering your tank. Sunlight's kind of the enemy here because sunlight will create algae in your tanks. Nice. Okay, so we had this and it got a little turned over there. So Pete had a great idea. That is a coupler. Okay, some kind of hose clamps. It's a little coupler hose clamps for four inch PVC pipe and you can ratchet it. So he just cut it with a hacksaw and strap it. So that now allow us more flexibility to get this plumb and flush at the end of the tank, as well as this one over here, which going down here will have the first flush. These two valves allow us to control the water level in each tank. They can fill simultaneously, and when they're at the top, we can close off one and only drain from one side at a time if we choose. We're gonna try to get these tanks sliding together just perfectly. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> we got this. A little bit more, a little more, a little more. Okay, right about there. I think that's gonna work. Oh, hello. Okay, go on the other side. Okay. I'm putting the glue on. Push it in. No, more. More? More, 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 right there. Okay. Try to do that by yourself. <laughs> That is awesome. The reason we did the two inch is so that these tanks can equalize whenever yep. they're filling. With a system this big, we needed a first flush. This downward pipe collects all of the debris and bird poop and junk from your roof before it gets into the tanks. After a big rain event, you just open the valve and drain it out. We designed it this way so that running the water into our house from these tanks in the future is an option. 
We would add a filtration system before we do. If you like the idea of off-grid living, that would be your final step in readying your rainwater for drinking, cooking, and bathing. Then we plumb the two tanks together for one single overflow. You might think that you need a larger overflow, but you really don't. We have a lot of rain this season and we have never had our tanks or gutters back up. The tanks will hold 5,000 gallons of water. The goal is to fill them up during our rainy seasons and then drain them during our Texas summers, effectively drought proofing our property. We like to make the most out of whatever effort we put in. So while these two tanks are filling up from the roof, the entire front side of our porch was running off into nowhere. So we installed a 265 gallon slimline vertical tank that will go into a future kitchen or tea garden off the side of the house. Shout out to our great friend Joshua from Gander Flight YouTube channel. Thank you for always coming to help lend a hand on some big projects like this. We go through the same install concept, but simplify this time. A leveled base form made out of two by fours and then fill it with gravel. These slimline tanks have a built-in filtration system, so no first flush is needed. Plus, this water is only ever going to be used for our garden. Since they are small, if we ever need to clean them, it would be a piece of cake. Remember, if you're planning on rainwater for your household use, definitely install a first flush on these. Our second slim tank is by the garden, just across our driveway. This style of tank is great for suburban homes because of its small footprint and large volume. That second slim tank is super unique because it doesn't actually catch water off of anything. When it runs low, we just pump water from the big mama jamas. It sits right next to our large garden and it takes its sweet time getting harvested rainwater into our beds through a gravity fed drip irrigation system. Basically, tiny hoses with tiny holes that water our garden continuously without flooding the beds. It's genius, and I'm so glad that we did it. This irrigation system is hooked up to a timer so that we are maximizing the systems on our homestead. It's the ultimate hard worker on this property. The roof collects the water, the tanks store it. And now the drip irrigation delivers that fantastic rainwater that the garden craves, giving us more time to get more done around the property. In the description below, you can download our materials list with costs and links to products we use during this project. Happy harvesting.